Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at how you can use Amazon's Kindle Create to format the paperback version of your book. Now you've probably heard of Kindle Create at some point or another. It's Amazon's formatting software that they made especially for formatting Kindle books for Amazon. But for quite some time now, perhaps a year, I think a little bit more than that, uh, they introduced this feature that we can also now format uh, paperback books so we can format the interiors for our uh, print books and I gotta say it is pretty cool having another option for book interior formatting available and out there so Kindle Crate is probably the easiest way of how to do this how to format your print interior it's very streamlined it's very like it's a very kind of streamlined process it's very kind of efficient but with that ease and with that simplicity comes also kind of a set of limitations so if you're looking for, you know, if you want your interior design and your interior formatting to be ultra artistic, ultra special, uh, you want some kind of, I don't know, some kind of artistic and special formatting, this is not the option for you. However, if you're looking for the most hassle-free option, the fastest option that will allow you to do it, you know, for free uh, yourself and, you know, you don't really care that much about the artistic side of it, then Kindle Crate is going to be a great uh, option for you. Also guys, to give you a little bit more context, uh, so now we have three main options of how you can format your print book interiors. We've got Kindle Crate, we've got the good old Microsoft, and we've got something like Adobe InDesign, for example. So, and if, if we were to put these on the spectrum, Kindle Crate would be right there. It's, it's very simple, it's very easy, it's free, it's low cost, it's hassle-free, but it's very limited because of those uh, reasons. So that's the downside, it's very limited. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, you have Adobe InDesign. Uh, most likely you won't be learning that yourself. It's a pretty advanced and complex software. You've pro you're probably gonna be uh, working with someone who has the skills uh, for that specific software. You'll be paying them a fee, and then you'll, you'll be able to ex express yourself very fully in, in an artistic sense. You know, you'll have all your uh, artistic desires met by this, by this formatter. And right there in the middle, you have good old Microsoft um, where you do have more more leeway, you can play around with the fonts, you can play around with different things, but it can be, I'm not gonna lie, uh, it can be a bit of a hassle, Microsoft. It can sometimes not work as you want it. Some of the features, depending on, on what your version of Microsoft is, uh, some of the features might not work as you uh, want it to. You might run into some technical issues. So, you know, Microsoft is somewhere there in the middle. So Kindle Crate is that fast, that easy, and that streamlined option that you can that you can go for so here's an outline of all of the steps that we'll be going through to get your print book uh, formatted to get your book formatted for print via kindle create so one thing i'm assuming is that you already have your kindle book your ebook formatted for kindle for amazon um, and that's very basic you might have a toc a table of contents that you can click you'll have your headers and you know not nothing that special really the only things we'll be doing in Microsoft Word will be uh, changing your table of contents from a clickable one to that good old-fashioned one with the you know heading dot 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 number page number. Uh, that's what we'll we'll be doing, and then we'll just go over to Kindle Create, put that that file into Kindle Create. We'll do some final formatting in Kindle Create, and then we'll export and upload the KPF file, which is a file that Kindle Create will generate for us. And then we'll go ahead and upload that file to Amazon and then you're gonna see some magic happen because Amazon is going to automatically format uh, that KPF file uh, based on which, uh, which dimensions, book dimensions that you choose. It's going to automatically create the margins and it will also automatically uh, create that, those, those right dimensions based on what you choose. All right, so part one, making the necessary edits inside of Microsoft Word. So go ahead and open up your ebook file the, the Microsoft file, uh, you know, this is, this is a really old ebook that we did way, way, way back uh, that I like using for these examples. So the first thing you're gonna do is go over to the table of contents. Now, as I touched on before, uh, here you see we've got this clickable interactive table of contents. And it's something that works very nicely for digital books, for Kindle books. However, it doesn't make sense, of course, for a print book. How are you gonna have a, you know, interactive uh, table of contents you, you, the answer is that you're not so get go ahead and get rid of that and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a table of contents what you're going to do is go to insert and index and tables 
and then go over to uh, table of contents right here and you can choose you know whichever style you prefer uh, I would generally I would recommend going for the something like perhaps either like classic or like this one with the dots I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this one and that's it there you go there you have it you have a table of contents that is you know the classic uh, style like dot 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 and the number of page right at the end you can if you want to you can of course do some formatting you can uh, do some formatting in word right here you can do some bolds you can do some um, play around with the sizes you can play around with the uh, line spacing that's all that's up to you but you know I'm, I'm pretty much satisfied with this it's good enough for me so then uh, remember to save your file definitely uh, don't forget to sa uh, save your file and close it now one really important thing to include here about the Microsoft Word file remove any headings you don't need to include any headings here not in this part and don't include any page numbers so remove them if you have them all of this is going to be done automatically for you uh, by Kindle Crate so that's it that concludes part one you're done with Microsoft Word then you then we can go over to Kindle Create so and if you haven't already uh, go ahead and download Kindle Create uh, you can just Google Kindle Create or I'll probably leave a link down below in this description you can go straight from this video so uh, go and download Kindle Crate then go ahead and install it and then we can continue our work with that Microsoft Word file so open up Kindle Crate uh, click new project from file and then just click choose your file uh, navigate to wherever your file is and then just open your file and what it's going to do is going to import your uh, Word file and it's going to start converting it for the Kindle Crate uh, format so you can start uh, formatting it playing around with different things finalizing your formatting uh, and then we're going to continue from there import successful great news happy to hear so as usual Kindle Crate asks us if these are the correct uh, sections you can make corrections but usually it's very on point in this part accept selected so as usual if, you, if you've worked with Kindle Crate before you can select a specific theme classic cosmos amour uh, modern which is the one I have right here in case you haven't done a lot of the work on uh, Microsoft you can kind of make uh, do it here but, uh, but usually it will be a bit easier at least I find it will be a bit easier to do it on Microsoft Word but I, again that's that's really up to you you can do it however you like so as usual we have all of the specific elements they can uh, format in specific ways you can have first paragraph this is what it does then you can let's do this as a quote opening quote it formats it in kind of standardized uh, specific and standardized ways and then you can go to uh, the specific formatting now as you see here if you want to play around with like fonts right now this latest version of Kindle Crate doesn't really allow us to do so because it, they haven't really expanded this option yet but by the time you're watching they might already you know allow you to choose from a var variety of different fonts so uh, you can play around with size you can play around with different colors we can do bold we can do italics underlines it's it's very you know it's very basic and, and standard stuff indentations and spacing so you can customize all of these all of these different things you can also use Kindle Crate's uh, separators right here for your book another important thing to not to forget here in, in this part of the process is to set up your print settings as you want them so that's going to be where you will decide how your author name and your book title up in the header as well as your uh, page numbers down in the foot, footer how these elements look like how they are formatted so the default one is that you have them to the sides I don't really like that one the one that I might like is this one I think it's pretty cool um, the one with, with, the, with the author name and the book titles out to the sides and then the page numbers get uh, centered so I'm going for that one but again it's totally up to you uh, and how you feel and how you want your readers to uh, receive and consume your book so once you're satisfied with all of the elements you've kind of maybe you've done some touch-ups or whatnot then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and uh, click publish so it's going to ask us to save it first and after you've saved your file your working file you can go ahead and get a, a file that's exported so the working file is a KCB file which, which is this right here and the file that we're actually going to be using on Amazon is uh, an, a KPF file so that's the export file that we're going to be using now so go ahead and navigate over to your KDP dashboard and go through all of the steps that are needed to upload a print book I am assuming you already know how to do that so as usual enter your book title enter your author name 
do the description, do these seven keywords, select your categories, and then go over to step number two, paperback content, select your uh, ISBN. So then go over to the print options. And here, as usual, you'll be selecting the, the options that are relevant for you. And as I touched on before, what Amazon will do for us when we select our trim size is it will actually use that KPF file and kind of adapt all of the texts, all of the information within that file to this specific trim size, to the specific trim size that you choose. Uh, first, I'm gonna select this five times eight, just pretty much randomly to illustrate how this works for you guys. No bleed and matte. So I like matte covers. And then just go ahead and upload your KPF file. Now, usually what you would be doing, you would, you would be selecting a PDF file, but in this case, again, we're using that KPF file. Again, just to make things extra, extra clear for you. Then next, do the same thing for your cover. I, I'm assuming you have your cover already done. The Kindle Crate doesn't really apply to your cover in any way, really, except that it, you, you, of course your cover has to be the right uh, format, the same format as your trim size is going to be. And once you've done those two things, you've uploaded your uh, KPF file, you've selected all of the uh, print options, and you've also uploaded your cover, go ahead and click Launch Previewer. And this is where Amazon is going to generate our uh, book interior for us. And once the loading is done, it can take quite a, quite a while, a few minutes at least. Uh, there you have it, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, Amazon has done you know, a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You can just go through your file and see if you're satisfied with it. Here you see we played around with that, that quote. Um, the title as well as the author name right here on the left and right pages on odd and even number pages, uh, they've actually taken from what you entered uh, inside of uh, Amazon in, in that part one of uploading your book. And as you see, we selected, you know, for the page numbers to be centered. And there you have it. That's, that's pretty much it. This is a 5.8 book. For fun, we can actually go ahead and uh, do, why don't we do like 8.5 times 8.5 and, and see how that looks. So yeah, here in the trim size, just select 8.5 times 8.5 and launch the previewer again. Uh, wait a little bit and then we'll see how that looks. And there you have it. Here is uh, the same file, the same KPF file, but Amazon created a 8.5 times 8.5 inch book out of it, book interior out of it. So that is pretty cool how kind of automated and streamlined they've made it. Uh, by the way, this warning is because I didn't upload, I uploaded a, a book cover that was totally different, uh, totally different size than, than either of these formats, 5.8 or 8.5 times 8.5. So then, then you just go ahead and click this approve button right here. You proceed over to the, to the next section is where you choose, uh, you select your rights uh, based on the countries and as well as you, you select your pricing and then you're ready to publish it. And, and that's pretty much it when it comes to using Kindle Crate to format the print interior for your paperback book. Uh, as you saw, I, I think it was very straightforward. Uh, as I mentioned before, many times throughout the video, it's, it's really like streamlined, just like this step, that step, this step, that step, and, and then you, you're pretty much done. But also, as, as you can see here, we didn't really get too much freedom with playing around with uh, different fonts, as well as in several other uh, areas, we don't really have that much freedom. But you know, it's like a it's like a yin and a yang. It's like a good and a bad. I know this will be perfect for some people, and for others of you who are like the artists, who you know your book is your art. This might not be the best option for you. But yeah, I hope you found this tutorial helpful in some way, shape, or form. Uh, maybe you'll use this method. Maybe you won't. But in any case, we we have a lot of uh, tutorials like this, similar to this, on our channel, which I invite you to check out. Uh, you know, I, I share very openly uh, the best information that I have available. And a lot of it is about uh, book marketing, but not only. And as always, feel free to like and feel free to subscribe for more content. And that's it. I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.